to show you a really quick way to do a cutout. So for example, like the cutouts you see on YouTube thumbnails where the person's cut out from the background and they're overlaid onto normally a plain background. And you can normally do this in Photoshop, but you might not have Photoshop or you might not be able to use it. I find it really complicated, so I needed a hack that would enable me to do it. Maybe not to the same quality, but good enough and in a fraction of the time. So there's an app called Pixomatic and you can see it on my screen there. So I'm just going to click into that. And what Pixomatic does is lots of different things. But I recently found this hack where, say if I go into a selfie picture and I wanted to, for example, use this one. So say I wanted this picture on my YouTube thumbnail, but obviously I didn't want the background in it. All I do then is go down to the cut button, which is down at the bottom, press that, and then you can make the, the cursor however big you want it to be. I have it quite small. Put your finger on the start of where you want to cut yourself out, and it'll take a couple of seconds to appear um, as a close-up, you'll see it there. And what you want to do is cut round it. You can go really quickly, and the idea is you just go a little bit on both of the of yourself and the background. So you can see how I can just, I'm going a little bit slower because I'm on the video, but, um, and I'm talking, so I can't do two things at once. But you just go and zoom in round, um, and then gonna zoom round. Oop, that was a bit, my finger's gone all funny. And then, oops, that went a bit funny. And then, make sure you cut the bottom off as well. And then click next. And then you can see what happens is you have to go to the fill part and then just put your finger on it again. And you can see I'll just fill my hair back in again where I've missed it a little tiny bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but let's just do that bit there. And then you see it's cut round it. Now what you're meant to do is cut, um, click the plus and then change the background to another background that's on your phone. But if you want to have this cut out as something to be able to do a YouTube thumbnail, then I found a little hack. So if you, when that's selected like this, if you click the top there and then you save the cut and that's all you have to do at this stage, what you can then do is not now, then close and say, yeah, reset. Go back into the main bit and then scroll down where it says Pixomatic Cutouts and you'll see that the one we cut out is up there. So there's the one we cut out and then all we're going to do is, um, so we see that there, we don't want that necessarily, but if we highlight that, so if we click on that there, we can then airdrop it to our computer and then we will be able to use it as a YouTube thumbnail. So I hope that's helped.